Firecrackers at 12. Yep, firecrackers. Flashlight crackers, same thing. Uh, what do I see? I don't want the big ones, I want a few of these. What's the price? 16. Three. Yes. That's six. Super jumping jigs. Those are not too bad. Kind of dull in a way, unless you have a flat surface. Let me zoom here. Do you usually, um, do you ever try to buy new ones, or do you usually stick with the ones? Oh, uh, you always go, you almost always go with current ones, the ones that I'm used to. I rarely do get new ones, though. That's two hundred. Anything small? That's a fifty. What's the price? Forty-nine. That's a two hundred. One cent or cheaper. <laughs> Not much. What's about one cent cheaper here too? By the way. What's the So get those. Where's this? Oh. Okay, see so what they are. They flash when they explode, so they just simply explode. Titanium color. Hmm, that's nothing new. Those I don't like. Big firecracker, basically. Warning, explosive. How obvious can you get? How about the bomb? No thanks. One cent less than a dollar. These I remember very well. I get a lot of these every year. Are they the smoke bombs? No, these are not the smoke bombs. Yeah, that was ten. And lady bitty single firecrackers, and that needs the attention of the store staff. Hmm. You can see a store staff member around that's available. Desert smoke? Oh, that must be a really big smoke bomb. Or smoke bomb. Green smoke. Okay, I get it. Gushing smoke? Ah, oh, I see the difference. Yeah, these are new ones that I haven't seen. Yellow. These are almost always off, but whatever. Still, they're enjoyable. Blue. It's probably a cyan. Over 25 a pop. Who's the other color? Red? Yes, red, green, blue, yellow. The order of the pyramids in disguise. What do you know? It's a drop like one. Like what? Chicks 
plastic. It's very expensive looking. Last year, these are the only smoke balls I could get access to. Not bad though, at least. Smoke gets in your eyes. Oh, it's so funny. Let me check those. Anybody want 16,000 consecutive firecrackers? It goes on to third of an hour. Jumbo cracking day. Thirty-three versus me thirty-five. Hmm. I don't quite think that's really worth it. Four got four times the price. These things are almost worthless. I heard the light. And again, if I set a fire in just the right way, yeah, I can get them going. Mm -hmm. Surface to air method, no thanks. B. Spins upwards. Star. Oh my goodness, that's a monster. I wonder if that's a combo pack. Can't be one of those half kilogram units though. Don't like Saturn missiles, they're really irritating. Whistle is irritating, that is. 300 shots. Good boy. Sister's taking it. Oh, that's fun. Super stain. Hmm. Artillery shoulder are better than those. I'm doing it grove saying. Yep, these are big fireworks, but I've gotten even bigger. Deep space? It's basically like one of those miniature ones for those big 500 gram fireworks that I get every now and then. City crash. That one wasn't too bad, actually. Whoa, that's really, really high price. Magnificent festival. Nope. That's how big of fireworks do you usually go after? Do you ever get like really, try to get really, really big ones? I do, but those that's further down the line. Oh. I usually do multiple passes of this. Uh, none of that stuff is of any hand No, you already got your smoke bombs yard. Uh, I would like the main balls, but pyro alert. Twenty-five. Interesting news. Magic crystal? Hmm. Spins shoots up in the air and then flames. Spins on ground, shoots upwards, and it's flying in spots. Okay, pretty exciting. Here's our almost handle. I get these quite often. Uh, let's see, which one is this? Neon thing. The handful I've got in uh, two years, I think, now. What's this? Here's your own candy. Yeah, I know. I'm already after those. 450. Hmm. These are even cheaper. But usually. The less effective, but this is a five pack. So this is only 50, a little more than 50 cents more expensive on the overall. Do you have an absolute favorite? Not exactly. Roman candles are almost about the same. Almost. I think what we like the most is actually catching them all. 
Oh yeah. So it's your neck out or your oh, back? We're gonna be catching them on much higher quality film this year than ever before. One of those, let's see. Crackling rumor. Remember that one. Those are Yeah, I guess I'll probably get one of these. Ooh, package is opened. This one's okay. Package opened in here. Oh, okay. I don't know how to take care of that. Yeah, they it's split open. Looks like the tape broke. Thank you. And uh, oh, here's a small ball. Looking for these. Last well, year I didn't get any because stock equals zero. Oh, there's the cartwheel. And these I love like you would not believe. Let's see, what's the price? Six bucks a box. That's not too bad. And then there's what, 72 in here? 48? No, 12. 12? Hey, mister? Are there, uh... It says 12 balls, but this still makes sense for a box like this. Wait, 12 balls per package, plus there's like six packages per, so... Oh, 72. Like, like 72 in balls in a pack. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yep. Okay, thanks, that clarifies. Yep. I ask store clerks quite often. After all, it is their job. Who is this? Uh, oh, that's a box is partially open. And then we It's a weird shape. Here's the one. Here it is. Emits shadows of sports. Get on the other side to find out what the price is. Dodge. Memory Storm is 89 cents. Yeah, I guess I'll probably try one. Two hit. Artillery shells should be familiar to most of you that watch firework shows. Little itty bitty balls. But boy, they explosive like you wouldn't believe. Nice. M3. Huh, I thought it was an M2. Must have changed it to something. How much is that one anyway? I okay, so 23 for that. 60 gram high percentage. Ooh, but too high price. Way too high. Loud load. Hey, hey, mister? Mm. Working with a freshman. Wait. Yeah, I'm interested in uh, artillery shells. I want something that's uh, got a medium kind of height, but I want lots and lots of color. Lots and lots of color? Okay. Um, how many balls are you looking for? Six, twelve. Really don't care. Six, twelve doesn't matter. Yeah. 
Well, if you're looking, just single break or double break or how many? Singles. Ones? Just singles? Yeah, if, you're look, singles. if you're looking for singles, these, these are the, ones these are the more. Yeah, medium height, but I don't want more color. Yeah, these right here are definitely going to be what you want for that. Um, these are the best single break shells we have. It's not, it's not using up all the powder to get it up in the air. It's not going to be crazy high. It's mostly a color display. Yeah, um, yeah so that's kind of the thing I like, is lots and lots of color. Yeah, so However, these would be what you want for that. Yeah. What about something that gets high and also has color? I would expect less color he is, but... Yeah, um, well... What do you have that might suit that? How much are you looking to spend, I guess? Uh, well, I, just give me some ideas. Well, some, okay. Because um, I'll judge the prices and motivation based on that. Double the first takes four times the motive. Well, okay. Here, um, these, like I said, these are canister shells. They're just a much larger single single load. These are neon shells, so they're going to be extremely colorful. Um, you only get six shells for, you know, 24 instead of 12. However, like this one comes with a fiberglass tube instead of compressed cardboard. They're just much more powerful shells. They're going to get way, yeah. way higher in the air. And so, and these are about as Yeah, it needs a lot more defense or resistance. Exactly. So... If you're looking for something that's, you know, I guess a little bit more of a premium type shell, these are these are what you'd probably go for. And like you said, color, these are neon. Well, neon's about as colorful as you can get. Hmm. You got something that might be a little cheaper than that? Not for canister shells, no. Um, that's that's the cheapest canister shells we have. Oh. Because hmm. usually they come in the bigger packs, like a pack of like 20 or something. Bucks. Yeah, that's too much out there. So. <clears throat> what are these? Uh, those are just single break shells. They're not really, they're not going to give you the height or color display that it sounds like they're uh, looking for. So it's mostly loudness then? Yeah, they're, um, they're an entry level shell. Right. Well, I've we're pretty much become an expert at this. I'm no professional though, but... Well, I think I'm, I remember you being in here before, and I yeah. talked to you quite a bit last year, so, yeah. Yeah. I'm a frequent customer. I love fireworks like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah. I think this will probably try these. Okay. Thank you, though. Boiling pot. No thanks. I like some of the weird names they give these. Cuckoo? It's kind of like a rooster in a way. But, no thanks. Egypt themed stuff. Look at this. Turbo Flash. And it shows up sparks. Hmm. Doesn't really specify much about it. It's one of those fountains that you like. Eh. It's probably a really bright given the description. Price isn't too bad, so I guess we'll try one. Oh, okay, that's how it really shows. Who was that one I had last week? Let's see it. Right over here. Fire, uh, man. Crazy clock in the game, it's called clock, right? Or crazy. Fantastic. Vertical fire, man. Yeah, probably have to surround it with rocks so it doesn't tip or something. Something I do every year. Every year. Well, they charge this one. 60 seconds. That long duration for that kind of place. Legal, colonial, double trouble, no thanks. Moonshot. Tasmanian girls. Yeah, What is this? Dakota Frog? Oh, 
Oh, this is a weird one. This. Oh, this is a weird one. Fuse. Nice glittery, you. Safe and sound, how exciting. What's the price? Yeah, it's rather high. Seven bucks and eight points. Huh. I guess they got the bigger rockets, but not the little ones. But the, they were all gone all of a sudden. Four bucks for that. Hoistering bees. These are probably loud like crazy. 75 degree angle. How exciting. Flashing. Yeah. Uh, got that one in 2005, I think it was. Awesome. I would like uh, information on these big monster rooms. Okay. Max What's price the... 60 bucks. Max price 60 bucks. Lot, yeah. Lots of color. So you'd rather have color than noise? Yeah, color. Color is what you're looking for? Okay. Yes. Yeah, we don't have to go anywhere near 60 to find a good one. I would kind of like a moderate height if at all possible. Or color and duration. That would also work. Okay. Well, here, this is going to be more the color and duration. Um, Exploding rainbow? Yeah, this right here, it's a 36 shot, as you can tell. Um, it goes reasonably slow at the beginning, let you kind of savor it, and then toward the end, it shoots about five or six off at the same time to give you a nice little finale. Um, changes colors, changes effects. It gets reasonable height, but as you know, when you displace the pot over 36 shots, it's not going to get really high. This is definitely a sit and enjoy it for a while. It's kind of a, it's a show in a box. So for 43 bucks, if you're looking for something colorful and you know, you can enjoy it for a while, not gonna really, really go quickly like that. Um, that's definitely what you're looking for. <laughs> Heavy. Park Explorer when I got for 40 bucks uh, in 2005. I wonder why it got up so much in price. Hmm, 70 bucks is way up there from what I'm used to. But yeah, I definitely remember that one. That was a really good one too. Bone breaker. Well, let's see. What do I got here? Is this is about as much as you usually get, or is this? No, this is the less than what I usually get. He's got a soda can box full of fireworks from last year. Oh, yeah. And the year before. Yep. Hmm. Let's see. Can't get bottle rockets, so. Cracker balls, got tons of smoke balls. Let's see what was that. Oh yeah, that's what I'm missing. Um, only one of these. You've got a thing full of those at home. Yeah, but I still want to get more. So let's see, that direction's over there. Sparkly? Let me see those. Mm. Oh, uh, 
let's see. Yeah, I tend to do a lot of combos, so yeah, I do go through these quite often and fast. What is that crazy? 89 cents for this? Oh my, that's really cheap. It's almost like you've got to be kidding. How can all this be 89 cents? I don't get that. One box, 89 cents. Might as well stock up. Let's see. Think there was... Oh, I don't think so. Did one? Mm. There must be 700 of those. 1,000 exactly. Nice. And here they'll go with a big box. Yeah, they look at the box. That's just a big one. That's a big single. Firecrackers, firecrackers. What's this over here? Inside of range. I know, but you're supposed to take all this off. Do you really like this thing? I don't know. I mean, don't do I was hoping I could find that big box of them. There's like a 12 in a pack, or is it 24? Yeah, it's 24 in one of these packs like this. Except, uh, How many are in that one? This one's four, except they're also quad size. No, triple size. Come on, cooperate. Look at this space in the clip of the I was wondering what these things actually even look like. But I think they're nighttime fireworks. So those will have to be separate. Uh, leftovers from last year, I'll just drag out as is. Now, this is overdone with tape. Can I get a close up of this? Good. I just heard the circuit breaker, breaker buzzing. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was a circuit breaker. I had, had to reset the one of the circuits, number nine, three times today already. Don't know why, but... Caution, flammable. Isn't that obvious? Of course, I don't need those kinds of warnings, because I already know that. Hmm. Kind of wondering if I should remove it. That won't affect anything. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one alone for now. These are nighttime, those will come back later. These are daytime. Here's a close up of this. Okay. And I'm not sure if you might want to get 
versus Fuse here. Have you ever seen anyone lighting fireworks before? Long time, I'm excited to see it. Yep. Uh, okay. Or do you want close-ups of these other colors? Mm. What do you think? If you want to, yeah. Because they're pretty much the same. Well, uh, I would recommend waiting for these to get on right then. Because that way I can get all of them in one. Because you've got the green one, that I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Whoa. How do you determine which ones are daytime and which ones are nighttime? Easy. If they emit light, they're meant better for night. Oh. And here's a. Uh, you seen any interior of a firework before? Yeah, this is what the interior of a firework looks like. Have you seen it before? I not, not since I was a kid. Nah, wait until you see the interior of this one. And that's gonna be a ways, a ways away. So, I get the daytime stuff basically, and then, well, the nighttime stuff will get unwrapped, and then, then it gets fired off. This is different looking. This one is different looking for some reason. Look at that. Okay. I'm just trying to keep it as still as possible at least. This one is. Just make sure you get the space and the closest to this one. Sort of under. Oh, I'm still got this in the window, right? What? I'm just talking to him about ideas for everything. Yeah. Of course, this one's separate. Now this would be suitable for the close-ups. I've already got the green, so I'll process that one first. Whoa, whoa. Okay, since I already got you already got a close-up of the green. of, and I forgot about this, fuse protector. Get off my finger, thank you. Okay, you've already got this one. These ones are already done. Hmm, this one's rather light. Weird. Okay, close up of this, since this one doesn't have a close up. Okay. You hey, got that one? Yep.
Okay, this one's the blue. Can you tilt that desert smoke sign down a little bit? Like that? Yeah, because I'm coming at you from a low angle. A little bit more. Yeah, perfect. And it's been another five degrees. Okay. Perfect. Okay. This one is the final one. I remember the angle anyway. Should be good. Okay. I got a fight tape again. That's all these. Just need to be careful here. And then the hairballs have gone berserk again. These can be separate. I wonder where I lay. Yeah. I'll worry about that later. Huge quantity of these that I got going in there. Whoa, that's two. Can you hold up a pack of them for you? Yeah, I just noticed that. about that. Thanks for reminding me. But I have so many of them, so lots and lots of chances. Look how fast I am. <laughs> Mess. It's fighting tape that takes longer. And the speed again.
Yeah, that's only half. Trouble is, I need another container. This thing, that'll work really well. Grab all that in bulk. All that in bulk. Hmm. You got a good shot of this, my speed with this or something? Yeah. Yes. Troublesome. I need like a third container. I can see that coming. I don't need hairballs going berserk. Can't use those. Just wish to get a third box available or something. Or fourth. Or a tape to fix this. Say, I could just leave these in the box. That would work. Just don't stack them up too high. Yes. That's what happens when you listen to the same song for like 50,000 times. This version hasn't gotten that high up yet, but still. Could you, like, how long is the song? Like two and a half minutes? Yeah, 235. If it's nighttime stuff, I guess. This is some weird streaking here. You want to get a close up of this?
all the nighttime stuff and this will come back for later. So, guess that to the rest. Concludes that part. I don't know what these are. I think they're. Yeah, they're jumping jacks. I can tell jumping jacks from firecrackers apart because. See these two holes here? Yeah. Yeah. See these two holes here on the sides of these? This distinguishes jumping jacks from firecrackers. Do you know those holes are there? Yeah, it's to make the thing spin. Because what happens is the, there's a force coming out like here, but it's not right in the center, so that's gonna, the force is coming out here, Newton's third law equal an opposite reaction. It's gonna force it out this way when that is gonna otherwise cause it to spin. That's where the spin comes from. Now, if you were to look at firecrackers in that same area, no matter where you look on here, you are not gonna see those holes anywhere. That's what the difference is. Neat, huh? Mm -hmm. Didn't know that? Turn my MP3 player off so I save the battery for when I go to bed. Do you not like cold drinks? No, I do not. Remember my 57% ice defense? That's why. I can't drink them anywhere near as fast either. Which also has a negative effect. slower because I have to degrease. That's always it for that. Now I just haul all this stuff out to get, uh, I need to find the lighter. out in the open for testing it. Uh, hmm. Guess I get my shoes on and off I go. Oh yeah, there's something critically important that I need. Sorry. <laughs> Sunblock. If this SPF 70 plus is anything. <laughs> I could use some of that myself. I'll let you have some. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Because this would have to get done outside. Because I don't want the vapors in my room. Oh, guess I might as well turn my computer and stuff off. I like your wallpaper. The desktop? Yeah. yeah. It's my uh, platform masters. It's another motive boost. 
I rarely ever see my dad's cop though. This time I'm gonna have to carry out. I, I hope. Carry something, Joe. Left. This card. To get my shoes on. Shoes. <sighs> Instead, I'm gonna carry the whole box here out. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, sorry. Objects are cooperating times negative one. I don't need sunscreen. which might be a problem, but hey, I got lots and lots of water. Hmm. You know how uh, you were talking about stairs yesterday? Uh, yeah. Uh, can, you, can you go these? steps right here? No, I actually climb up over here like that. Oh, really? Yeah, it takes a while. It takes a lot of energy to do it. And when I'm tired, I have a hard time doing it. Despite the fact I can't see myself, I have good positioning, coordination, or whatever that word is. Hand-eye coordination? It's not... Because uh, I'm looking away. I have no vision as to what's going on. Uh, let's see, I need my neck. Uh,
doesn't sound nice. Sounded like a carnivore. part of my covered as much as I can. I've got about my ears. Spray a little in there. Get my hair out of the way. You're very susceptible to sunburn? Yes, I have very low defense against it. And in this case, that's biological related. So yeah, I need to do whatever I can to protect myself from the sun. Especially if I'm going to be outside in the sun for extended time. Okay, I think this should otherwise be it then. And haul all this stuff over. I can carry some of it for you.
could get them. That's all, I'm trying to get them inside. Yeah, exactly. So they're not barking while we're. Look, look, over there. You, got, you guys all barked out? You want me to hand you a monsters? Got that out of the way, now I got some silence. Minus the wind, but that's expected. Well, the next thing I'm gonna do is just set up a launch base. Yep. 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 Big and strong, pretty much go hand in hand. Good fourth one to use.
because I don't have a test firework with me. sturdy is this and make sure it's loose isn't going to tip over as much so if it does do that okay good okay, but if it gets in like that that's yeah, going to be a problem there uh, let's see Make sure it's nice and stable and sturdy as well. Oh, yeah, I got the other side too, forgot about. Oh, yeah, there's a big hole there. That could explain a lot. Gotta make sure these things are secure. Okay, repeat the mm, it's loose. That's too high, no wonder. Come on, get in there. That's pretty sturdy there. Oh, repeat the test. Just basic seating comes out. Extra force, very loose, good. Tilt off this way. Need some kind of barrier here, or another rock. Okay, what about this direction? Oh wow, yeah. How tiltable is it? A lot of force there. Hey, yep, it's pretty sturdy. Yikes, if this just fell. Yeah, dropped it again. It's critical that I check the stability of this thing and make sure it's very strong and stable. Seated in there, force test. Okay, that takes quite a bit. Seated in there again. Of course, this thing is warped. Hmm, it's kind of loose here. Yeah, this shouldn't be as much of a problem. So I guess the launch pad is otherwise pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I know.
Looks pretty blue. Close up of the waiting of the punk? Yeah. Ready? Let me know. Cool. Go for it. Oh, wind shifted. Everything's still okay? Mm That's how you light a punk. Look real closely, you can see an orange glow on here. Now, I would highly recommend you get away because these are explosive. Two fuses, that's interesting. This is a rare sight seeing two fuses on a single firework. So, get back. Firecrackers. Danger. Very explosive. Get away. And this is what's left of firecrackers when they go off.
These are small balls, they do not explode, so you can get pretty close to them. Magenta and white. All the colors in the rainbow in the right order. With white being the all out combo. So, how accurate are these colors? Chances are they're pretty inaccurate. These do not explode, so there's no worry on them. Well, at least that orange is pretty close. Pretty color. And this is the magenta or Indie Ghost probably. Yeah, that's pretty very, very close to magenta. Now for the finale, in this set anyway, all the colors of the rainbow make white. Oh, there is a smoke bomb.
one of them up for me? For the twisting? Yeah. Good shot? Good. Okay, and then uh, let's see. Going to yellow and then green. Set two, yellow and blue. Yellow and magenta. Fuzz needs to get thrown off the side. Yellow and white. Six legs. Six legs. And then I go up to the next step, which is green and then blue. I just roll my sets of 